Right. Now, we all know technology rules in the 21st century, but what happens when it all goes wrong? Mm, ah, yes. <laughs> mm. Take satellite navigation. How many of us have used it and been sent on a wild goose chase or end up just shouting at it? Well, Ordnance Survey is hoping to end those problems. Yes, they are indeed. They're giving out maps like this one. I hate these. I'm no good with them. <laughs> uh, to all Year 7 pupils across the country in the hope of developing more traditional map reading skills. We sent Catherine Evan-Williams to find out more. You know how it is. You ask the sat-nav to direct you to Carmarthen and you wind up in the Netherlands instead. Sound familiar? Then all you can do is go to a tried and tested method and get out your map. I'm not the only one with sat-nav horror stories. These youngsters in Haverford West have their own dark tales to tell. My, my uncle, he, uh, he was on his way to Cardiff and he uh, took a wrong turn with me and uh, we end up on the way to uh, Aberystwyth. I was in Florida, we were trying to find our way home and we went in completely the wrong direction for about th three hours before we realised. Me and my family were taking the caravan up to a caravan park and uh, it took us through a narrow road and we ended up in near a river, well, like going into a river. But hopefully for them, those days of getting lost through technology are gone forever. Thanks to these free maps from the Ordnance Survey, they're learning to get from A to B the old-fashioned way, as am I. I mean, it's a skill that you, you, you will never forget how to use. And even if it's just a case of finding a direction in 10, 15 years' time, I mean, they'll, they'll always come back to it. And I think it's a very good skill to have. So maybe the day of the map isn't over. This collector certainly thinks so. It's originally a woodcut, which has meant that the map has been cut out of a block of wood and then printed. And very soon afterwards, we had Saxton, who was the main English cartographer, and this is his Pembrokeshire map. You've got to be able to orientate yourself, and, and particularly in the, the younger generation, I think it's a great thing they're being taught map reading think skills in schools, because uh, you've got to know immediately when you go out in the countryside where your northwest, south, east are, uh, and a lot of people don't. Well, these youngsters now seem to know their way around a lot better. And as for me, well, let's just hope I don't get us lost on the way back to the newsroom. Catherine Evan-Williams, Wales Tonight, at Sir Thomas Picton School in Haverford West. That's we haven't seen I'm, her since, have yeah. we? I needed it's upside best down, lesson. by the way. Yeah, I know. And now I've got to try and fold it back up again, which is the worst bit, <laughs> isn't it? Look. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs>